Winter on the mountain. The calendar says it's springtime, but that don't matter much. The landscape changes day to day, and it'll change your plans right along with it. Oh, you can struggle with it, I guess. But then life becomes a struggle, and who needs it? We can't change the weather. We can only change how it affects us. When life throws you a punch, you just roll with the punches. It's the best you can do. Everything is just sparkly. Dildy's more concerned with the animal trash. Fresh moose. Tildy's smelling the moose. Oh, she's on to them. Is there a moose in there? You smelling the moose, Till? A moose passed through this morning, and Tildy's hot on the trail. It's in there somewhere, and she's determined to get to the bottom of this. No success with the moose, but no sense going home empty-handed. Winter's hanging on, so she'll help with the firewood. That's just good backwards logic. I don't care who you are. The snow is mostly gone from the mountain and we're enjoying some bare ground for a change. We're raking leaves and mulching the garden and feeling fortunate to be so much further ahead than we were last year at this time when we were buried in snow. It was a tough winter up here, with March being the toughest month of them all. On the first day of spring, the snow was still four feet deep and gardening was nowhere in sight. Has spring really arrived on time this year, or are we just being teased? We'll make kindling out of these. Rip up a bunch of new ones. Mm -hmm. Yep, they've seen better days. I'm getting gardening fever. This is still frozen. Oh, wow. Wish I could remember who sent this. I remember who it was, but I can't think of their name at the moment. I really loved it. We've had it in the garden for a few years. It's kind of yeah. weather-worn, but I'd sure like to yeah. get another. We put it in here in the winter time, but you know how things get. Yeah, the, the wind and the sun, you know, the yeah. UV rays kind of take their toll, but I like to get one just to keep in the screen porch. Mm. Whoever it was sent that to us, reach out to us so yeah. we can find out where you got it. Tell us how to get another one. Yeah. We love it. I've always loved it. I know you have. A lot of people will see me doing this and tell me to leave these in the ground because this will rot and fertilize the soil. And it's true. It will. I just rather have them out of my way. So I pull them up and I throw them over the fence and then I just use them as mulch on the top like I do with the rest of the garden with the leaves. But out there is where I grow the squash 
and I just have all this stuff laying on the ground. And it still serves the same purpose. It all breaks down and fertilizes the soil. So it all ends up in the same place for the same purpose. It is so nice and warm in here. Oh, it's a cold day. It's pretty cold and windy out. Yeah, the wind chill is only in the teens. Mm. Gotta get some potting soil. Well, it's that time of year. You gotta I'm buy not some seeds. Start a lot of stuff. Um, but I want to start some. I don't have a wood stove in here right now. We gotta get some seeds too. Yeah, a few. I didn't write down when I started it, when I started stuff last year, just corn, but I think it's in April, not like the first year, <laughs> March 5th, I think we started it and it was, things were going downhill by the time Memorial Day came. Well, look who's back, old man winter has returned to the mountain. What was that we said about going south? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mission accomplished once again. We're all plowed out over here. And uh, I kind of got the hankering for a rack of ribs when we would slow cook them in the kitchen queen. Oh, they come out so good. So we're gonna head to town, do a little shop, and then we're gonna go back up the mountain. Um, before I close this video, I just wanted to bring you up to speed on things because a lot of people have been asking did we go traveling? Are we still going traveling? Did we give up on the idea of traveling? So let me bring you up to speed on that. We were ready to book a place. We had a place in Tennessee. We were going to book for 21 days and we were ready to press the button. But Lori had a concerning doctor's appointment coming up and we wanted to wait until that was over with. And I'm glad we didn't book because uh, she ended up needing an unexpected surgery. They wanted to do it right away. So, of course, that's what we went with. Um, she's doing better. I should, she's, she's back to normal. She's doing fine. She's all healed up, right back to her normal activities, and we're back to be, everything being good and normal. So um, then we decided to just postpone our traveling plans, but now winter is back. And to be honest with you, we would like to just go now, but... I have two deliveries coming here, you know, we don't get anything delivered up there on the mountain. And I have a new outboard motor for my boat coming here. And then I have a log forwarding arch for my ATV and that's coming here on the 10th. So once those deliveries are all done, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. We have a lot of options. We set ourselves up with a lot of different options. And we've been weighing the pros and cons of them, making a list, checking it twice, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do, but we never know what we're going to do week to week. And it's been fun. We've been living spontaneous like we said we would do. And it's really been a good choice for us. It's kept life interesting and we're just enjoying the process. And that's what you're supposed to do with life, right? So um, I will tell you this, that there's a really, really good chance. It's almost a certainty almost the two of our properties will go on the market this year but which ones will they be you're just gonna have to wait and see <laughs> frankie and the boss out walking in the woods living life happy and free tracks in the snow everywhere they go there's a pokey way up in that tree a beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss